Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ. Today, I'm going to show you guys six traps and pranks using redstone in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to show you guys these by first going through all of them and showing you what they are, and then showing you a tutorial after showcasing all of them. Now, let's get her done. Oh, what a nice day it is in MCPE today. Oh, what's this building? Oh. 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 Oh, diamonds! Oh, 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 come on. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes! Uh, what? What? Uh, what? What? Oh! Ah! 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 What a beautiful day on the Let's Play. Okay, it's time for bed. Gotta tidy up. Okay, all right, all right, everything's good. Just gonna go to bed. <sighs> all right, now it's morning and what? Uh, wh wh Did I just teleport somewhere? Ah, oh, whoever put this thing here is a noob because I can just break the floor and get out. Ah! Oh! Oh, diamonds, diamonds! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all mine, baby. It's all mine, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. What? Oh, good! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh yeah! Now I'm gonna wreck this noob's house. Here we go. First, I'm gonna steal all of his stuff first. Oh, oh, what's in here? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, goodness! Oh, oh, dang! Oh, come on. One of these. Everyone knows what these do. Come on. I even have sand so I can get out. Oh no, oh no, I'm stuck. And, and look, I can just break this block above me and, and w work my way back up. Look at this. Oh, 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 gotta break my back. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. What the heck? Yo, yo, what's up with my door, bro? What the heck? Hold on. What? Okay, now I gotta close it. I, I gotta close, close it. I can't, can't close, can't close it. Ah, 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 ah. So obviously, as you can tell, I'm a top-notch actor. Let's get started with these tutorials. So first of all, we're gonna do this one, which is actually a room that traps you and slowly burns you with lava. And this one actually uses cactus. So obviously you'd walk in the doors, actually remove the doors, you'd walk in and then it'd close behind you with no more pressure plates so you can't get out and then they'll have to find a lever which opens the next door or at least what they think it'll do. So when you uh, try to find a lever, when they find a lever and when they pull it, it won't do what they think it does. Instead of opening the doors, as you'll see back behind here, you can see where the lever is hooked up to. Uh, you would obviously cover this part up, but you can see that the lever is right here, and it's and it's connected to two redstone currents. So you can see how the two redstone currents are connected. One's right here, and the other one is right here. So first of all, this one it just takes it, goes over here, and connects it to a cactus. And this one does the exact same thing right over here. Now, if you didn't know, cactuses actually are affected by redstone current. So here, if I were to remove this, turn this off then place a uh, cactus, place back the redstone, and then turn it on, it will actually disappear. So that means if we were to take away the cactus and then put some lava behind it, right when the cactus leaves, the, the lava will pour down into the room, which you can see the openings over here. And you're my second favorite YouTuber, Lel. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, thank you. So it pours out from here and from here. So now we can see this in action, we're going to activate it from right here, and there you can see them both vanish, and you can see the lava pouring out into the room right now. Reset is actually very, very easy. So the way you reset this is you first want to remove the redstone right here from both sides, and then what you want to do is you just want to place back your cactus like this, and then place back your redstone la 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 like that. And there you go, you're done. You're ready for a second try of demolishing some fools. So we're gonna get behind here, flick it on. Oh no, we're trapped. Oh no! Oh no! 
Now this is in all one of my favorite traps. Now let's move on to the next trap. So this is the one where when you go inside, uh, well I can't sleep at night right now, when you go inside and you wake up or you just leave your bed, you'll actually fall into the void or you'll just fall into a room and then you put yourself in the void by trying to escape. Now this is done very, very easily. Here, let me strip this down naked so you can see how this works. So now you see I've stripped it naked and this is all it's made of now. So the way this works is that when I'm inside of the bed and when I get out of the bed, I try to, uh, uh here, let me show first show you what it looks like before I add all this. So I get inside the bed like this, I get into the bed, and when I leave it, I teleport right here. Now, I don't want to teleport right there. I want to teleport right here, right when I get out of the bed. So what, what I could do is I can just take out some uh, some brick here, uh, stone brick, just like this. And now when I get into the bed and get out, I'm now right here, but now I don't want to be there. Let's say I want to teleport to this corner right here. What I'll do is I'll place uh, two blocks, uh, one right here, one right here. And one right here and one right here. Now I'll teleport right here because the reason why is because these are transparent blocks. What these are are they're blocks that don't interfere with uh, redstone. So it'll work with stairs, it'll work with half blocks, it'll work with glass, it'll work with glowstone. And I think those are the only ones. There are probably a lot more though. So now when you see when I get inside of it and I get out, I teleport right here. And now that's the basic idea to it. Now if I were to just go over here and uh, put blocks around it like this and then put a top to it like this, when I teleport I'll be stuck inside of a room like just like this. Now I'm stuck. Now what I can do is I can break a, uh, the, the ground until I get all the way to the void like this and then when the people, when the person is stuck inside of the this thing, make sure the ground's already there. When they teleport here they'll be like, oh it's okay I can just break the ground and get out and they fall right into the void. Alex? Yeah that's my name, Alex. Moving on, we have the diamond trap. Now, this one is actually really hard to escape and is absolutely undetectable. Now, th th it's, it's hard to escape because you can put this in a mine, which has a bunch of places where you have to, like, like move around blocks and jump up and stuff. It's hard to escape. And also, you can just riddle the entire mine with, just, with, with TNT. It's really awesome, and this is how it's done. So find a place that there's diamond, and then go behind it. Make a lot of room so you can put lots of TNT. And then what you want to do is you want to put two blocks behind it, just like this. Then you want to place one, uh, oh, well, first you want to place a lever right here on the diamond, and then flick it on, then place a, uh, redstone, uh, dust right there, and place down a torch. And that's all the redstone you need. Now you just need TNT and cover that baby up. Now make sure you don't place any TNT around this area. Always go around it, around it like this. Never put it near it, because then it's going to accidentally, uh, activate and then explode and this dude's rocking out that's right baby so we're gonna encase this chicken and kill the chicken because he did oh you're not getting out of you know oh oh that was a bad mistake chicken so once you feel like you've put enough tnt and you're about to ruin that dude's day completely all you have to do is break the uh the, the diamond and it's ready and I would recommend going around the side and maybe adding a couple of extras So maybe they can break the other ones and then get to this one like make it really rough and make it look realistic And then when they break it it'll activate the TNT and then also you may want to ma like make it a really hard sp Whoa, I got shot. That was a lot of pushback But anyway, uh, you want to make sure it's in a place where it's hard for you to run away Maybe like you're gonna jump down a hole or something and they can't escape very easily It would be awesome if it's like that this next trap is not that easy to explain, but I'll do my best. So what happens is the person walks in and they open up this chest. Now this isn't, this isn't an ordinary chest, this is called a trapped chest. And what it does is it gives off a redstone signal like a redstone block or, or a, 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 like a lever or something. Something like that. It gives off current. So you want to get a trapped chest, not a regular chest, a trapped chest and then right under it, yeah, under the ground, you want to place some redstone, and then you want to have some uh, uh, some space 
for some cactus just like this so so far it'll go down and it'll activate some redstone which activates cactus but right now we want to not put the redstone because the redstone will actually uh, activate or uh, get rid of all the signs that are on this the, the cactus it's just really hard to explain just don't place the uh, the redstone yet and then what you want to do is you want to cover up the entire top part of the hole with uh, signs but you want to connect to connect it all to this cactus so it's all being held up by this one cactus so you want to do it like this so you can see I'm connecting all of the signs it's kind of it's kind of hard to connect signs at first if you're not used to it but you will get used to, used to you, you used to it And there, now you can see that when I activate this chest, it'll activate the redstone, which will take away the cactus, which will take away all of the signs. Now, this is where the hiding goes in. What I've done is I've gone around and I've pl placed some uh, regular wool, regular gray wool, and then some carpet on top, just like that, so that it'll blend in when you place the carpet in white. Is there burning? What's going on? Oh no 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 no! Don't break! Don't don't break my bill! Don't break my bill! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't don't do it! Don't do don't do it! Oh don't do it! Don't do it! No 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 no! I see you! I see you doing it! Do not! Do not do it! Don't! Why would I break it? Okay, what happened was I accidentally placed a sign right here, and it caught on fire, which caught this on fire, which caught everything on fire. So I got it under control. So the next step, what you'll want to do is first of all, you want to place the redstone I said you want to wait to place. Now once you've placed that, you are ready to hide it. Now what you want to do is you want to take some carpet that goes along with the, with the carpet that's surrounding it. You want to make sure it's the same color also to look super suspicious. So what you want to do is you want to go over. Now it may be kind of tricky and kind of confusing, like sometimes it won't place, sometimes it will place. Like you see right now, I'm trying to place it right here, take a couple of taps, but I, it, you'll get it down. And bang, just like that, we are ready to go. But here we're going to place back a uh, uh, lever so I can show you right when you do it, it'll activate the redstone that's down here. It'll activate the redstone and take away the cactus as we talked about. So now we're gonna we're gonna turn it on and there it all goes. A trap door. Not a trap door, a, a trap floor. Next up we have the iron door cage. Now this one's very, very simple. All you wanna do is place down a pressure plate like this. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go around to all the sides and walk around like this and place down doors and then you're done with the basic uh, trap. You uh, go up like this with some uh, clay or whatever you want, dirt, something that's easy to break that'll make them think that they can escape. And then what you wanna do is wanna go around and do, like, do something like this, go to the top, make a hole, place some lava inside, and then go like that, and then now they'll think that they're all big boys. Oh, I'm gonna go in here, oh, oh, oh you got me so bad, I'm just gonna get out. And then, oh no! And for the very last tutorial, we have the silly flopping or flickering door. So uh, I I don't know I don't know why wh why this happens. You can see it's a very simple redstone. I don't know if it's a if it's a glitch or something like that or a bug or or maybe it's supposed to be in the game. It's just a little little like secret circuit or something. I I don't know. So for you to do it, you'll want to go and find a place you want to do it. Then you want to find which way you want the entrance. So let's say we want it just like this, the entrance going this way. So what we want to do is we want to take uh, two blocks and place them like this. We want to place uh, two redstone torches like that and two right here. And then you want to place uh, some uh, redstone dust in this order and then run right here. And then here's where the magic happens. It starts flickering. I, I don't I don't know why, but it but it does. And then what you want to do is you want to take a block and place it here. Then you want to place another block here, and then you want to connect the signal just like that. And that's it for the redstone part of it. Now you can just place a block blocks around it like this. Because right now we're gonna place our uh, door right here. You can see now it's just it's just on its way, and then we can hurry up and finish up uh, going around it and adding on the blocks. As you can see, we're we're avoiding the redstone right here. We don't need to actually put blocks right there. We also can just we can also we actually want to cut off the circuit right here. As you can see, the circuit was actually connected before, and as you can see, when the circuit's connected, it doesn't work. So you want to make sure you actually do disconnect that uh, uh, circuit 
and sometimes when you redo it you actually have to replace your door and there you go it starts working again so here I'm finishing up placing all these blocks just to make it look a lot better so you have it above or below the ground and then now you can see we have our flickering door now we can actually turn it on and off by placing a lever on either side so let's say we want to place it here it's, uh, uh, flick it down it stops moving one right here flick it down it stops moving it doesn't uh, uh, doesn't matter where you put it but you can't put it here 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 but you, but you can't play place it here and here and so there you go everyone that was six redstone traps pranks whatever you want to call them in minecraft pocket edition using redstone Okay, everyone, I hope you guys use these, I hope you guys like them, and I hope you scare the living crap out of your sister with them. And it is the end. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.